Hey there, I'm up there here, and welcome to my Minecraft world. For today's episode, I think we're gonna upgrade my house here. You know, I think we're gonna make it look like kind of like that mansion from the Minecraft guidebook. Uh, I think that's the style we're gonna go with because it looks good right now. Don't get me wrong. But I think we could do a lot better. And the fact that we have like pretty much no storage space. Like this is all our chests. We could make some up here. But I think it just looks way too awkward at that point. And we need we need a bigger place. But yeah, on top of that, I think we're also going to make like a little creeper farm. Try to get like a lot of gunpowder. And then I think do a couple raids. And I don't know, something else. We'll try to figure out what else to do. But first things first, we need to wait for that sun to go down. Because I want to take a quick snooze before getting some resources. Because we have like no wood no cobblestone none of that stuff so let's see we have enough to make a couple chests and that will be very perfect for making some shulker boxes so let me make two of them one for wood and one for cobblestone and let's get some other resources here ah there's my axe i was about to say where is my axe uh let's see what else can we grab i think some paper do we have gunpowder no okay so we cannot make more fireworks now i think i'm gonna go with some spruce because i think that will look very nice as far as like the house goes because don't get me wrong i like oak but i think spruce would be just a little bit better so let's get our first tree here come on give me a tree there we go that's a that's a pretty small tree but you know what it'll work now i think we're gonna go about like a hot bar and a half of just like spruce logs i think that would be like more than enough there we don't really need we don't really need more than that plus that'll allow us to make like chests and flooring and just any like niche things that we want oh yeah another stack of 15 let's go all right let's go to bed because again i don't want any creepers to like sneak up on me yeah look at that he was gonna be sneaking up on me last night trying to blow me up so that way i don't get like any logs look at that he brought his friend as well. I'm gonna need you guys to leave this premises. Thank you very much. Ooh, I think this is another big tree. Please let this give me a lot of wood. Okay, not bad. 53, 53. We're almost there. Almost there. Sometimes I really wish I had a miner on, but that would make things way too easy. And, you know, it would be a modern Minecraft series at that point. You know what? Actually, speaking of modern Minecraft series, I will be doing RL Craft here soon. I think it will be pretty fun. I played a little bit of it by myself and with, like, friends. And it is a blast, but also really difficult to get into. So I think it will be pretty fun overall, though. My plan is, like, one week we'll have, like, more content than the other. So, like, one week will be, like, RL Craft for, like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The other week will be more so, like, hardcore Minecraft on the Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, like, say this week, it will be RL Craft on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Next week, it will be uh, RL Craft only on Tuesdays and Thursday. Now, as far as, like, the weekend goes, it will still be, like, Call of Duty Zombies. However, I do plan to do like dragon ball sparking zero when that releases i cannot wait for that uh but we'll get into that later and black ops 6 zombies and multiplayer more so like the zombies and maybe the campaign um never been much of the campaign guys so might do it might not not too certain all right that's enough wood right there but um yeah that'll be pretty much the schedule as far as like dragon ball sparking zero i'm not certain how i'll put it inside like that schedule but i'll find a way i'll probably do like two videos a day so like it can still be like minecraft and dragon ball or i can like figure out a way to just make it work i'm not too certain though Okay, we need to bring some torches. I just realized it is very dark down here. And I want to make sure, you know, I don't die. But yeah, overall, I've been a huge Dragon Ball fan for like pretty much all of my life. I don't think there's been really much of a moment when it has not been in my life. One of my first few games I played was Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi 2 on the PlayStation 2. I've always watched the anime. Uh, I got in some manga. Uh, not a lot when I was younger, but some. And just overall, it's been a part of my life. I grew up with it, and I don't think I don't think anything will change my love for it. But as far as like the game goes, I am very excited for like all the characters I get to play. Um, I did order the premium collector's edition, so I'm excited for like the statue that comes with it and the steel bookcase type of thing for the game. Uh, and all the other stuff I think will be very cool. And just oh, I can't wait for like the what if stories. I think that would be another thing that would be very cool. However, I do think when I like actually record. It, I'll actually do more so like the canon storyline and then do like what is later on because that would be that would be probably a smart thing to do in my opinion as much as I want to jump into it I love the story of Dragon Ball and I don't think I'm gonna like really change much from it although I do wish they did have like OG Dragon Ball in it because that would have been so cool 
All right, let's play some of this deep slate in here and then collect a bunch more because we need we need to get a lot of deep slate. Probably some more wood layer on too, but for now, a lot of deep slate. Oh, you know what? I think one thing I want to make on top of like the house and the uh, creeper farm is a woodmill. I think that would be pretty cool. We start like expanding my farm area because it looks a little bare on like the mountainside and I want to get more life. I think that would be very cool. Just slowly transform our world and just bring beauty to it. Oh my god, I missed some diamonds. How did I do that? Ooh, let's see. That was like five pieces right there. How many do we get in reality? And we got 12. Okay, not bad. Oh, hang on. I missed one more. Six pieces to 16. Ooh, that's really good. Oh, you know what? I think for next episode, we're going to be going to try to find a trials. I think that would be very cool since, you know, we are in a trial update. I would love to get a mace. That would be very cool as well. Um, but yeah, I think overall that would be a smart idea. Hopefully a smart idea. We're probably going to need a lot of totems of undying because I feel like, and I have a good feeling here, I feel like we're going to die a lot. Ooh, we got more diamonds. Hang on. Let me see how much more we get here. Okay, not bad. That looks to be about seven, I think. All right. I think, yeah, our inventory is pretty much full here. Let me see how much that is in our shulker box over here. And we got about a little over two stacks not bad uh just one more stack and then we'll call it a day in the mines and go back to making the house Ooh, we got some more diamonds that is always a beautiful sight to see i don't care like where i am in minecraft diamonds are just the most beautiful part of it man i remember on the xbox 360 days going to the edges of the world and just trying to find as much diamonds as i could and also trying to like mine out the whole entire world because it was very small you only had like what nine chunks really and i don't know how like i don't know how we used to do it back then but looking back at it it was a nightmare and like speaking of like the old edition i tried playing it recently and the controls oh the camera controls are horrendous like camera movement everything about it was horrendous and i just i don't know how i used to do it back then although i do remember back then using the crafting ooh, some more diamonds but uh, i remember using the crafting recipes like trying to like do duplication glitches where you like get a bunch of diamonds and whatnot oh i remember the anvil one it was very easy all you had to do was like name something in an anvil and it like made a ghost version of it and you could just like keep on doing that over and over again making like ghost blocks and transform those blocks back into like the raw form so of like diamond blocks to diamonds and i remember doing that with my friend all the time on this like halo texture pack and it looks so ugly don't get me wrong some of that stuff was very cool to have like the halo texture pack for but it was so ugly to have on um, for like some other things like the wool it was horrendous <laughs> okay so i just remembered a funny story with the same friend um this was like years ago when bear rock edition like just released or i think like literally like a couple months prior just released um regardless i remember staying up late one day on summer vacation and he was across seas because some of his family was like over there like in europe and i remember staying up to like 6 or 7 a.m and my mom walks in Mind you, I know it's like summer vacation. I wouldn't have gotten in like too much trouble, but a little bit of trouble there. And my mom was like, did you stay up all night playing games? And I looked her in the eyes and just lied right there and went, no, no, I just, I woke up right here, you know, just, I didn't want to play for, uh, some games with my friend because he's overseas and I don't really get too much of a time to play with him since he will be getting off here soon because it's like nighttime for him. And I think she knew, I'll be honest, I think she knew, but still, I just remember just trying not to, like, fall asleep for too much longer after that, because, you know, I stayed up all night, and that was not good. That was not good for me, although I did that a lot when I was younger, where some of my friends thought I did not go to school, like, online friends did not think I went to school, and thought I was, like, in a mafia or something. Who knows, maybe I am in a mafia.
But uh, jokes aside, I got way more than enough uh, deep slate. So let's make our way back up and start rehauling our house here. Okay, one more thing right here. I'm actually going to be like cleaning up all these chests right here because I don't want to like worry about while building the house and deconstructing it. Just make it a lot easier for us. So we're going to do that real quick and then and then work on the house. Okay, I think before we make our house, we need a bit of music. So let's get started here. It looks so weird without like anything here. I'm not gonna break this block because I don't want there to be like water coming out like these three blocks. So we'll leave it for now. Um, I will need to get rid of a lot of the stuff in my inventory. But like, yeah, it's so weird without a house here now. Okay, so I moved the slabs over just a little bit because I want the entrance to like start off right here. But I think overall we're ready to start. So let's get started on making a house.
all righty i think pretty much overall we got pretty good outline on what i want this house to look like um let me sleep so that way i can see it in the daytime but i think overall this is like the shape the style of the house i want to go with i'm gonna need to work on the outside definitely uh make it look a lot nicer probably add something here i'm not certain yet might add something there or make it just glass i know i want this to be like a little a little patio type of thing like above ground balcony and yeah so overall this is the inside i think right here will be like a little kitchen area over here can be like a little storage room or like a living room area um we could have a proper bedroom right up here i'm thinking right here would be a bedroom and then over here not certain i might change a few things like have this be the storage area downstairs living room or who knows you know i'm i'm kind of still like brainstorming a lot of ideas but i think overall this looks pretty good now, overall, I think the only materials I am missing is, like, glass. And that's mainly for, like, windows. I'll probably, like, start working on, like, more so, like, an attic area. Have a proper balcony right here. Because I want this to be a little balcony as well. Um, probably have, like, a fountain in the back. Or just work around the outside area, like I said. I want it to look very nice. And, yeah. I think right now, though, we're going to focus on making a little creeper farm. And then doing a raid. Okay, so I am in the stronghold right now. Need to get some string because the video I found requires some scaffolding blocks. Um, like usual, if you guys want to like follow along, make your own like kind of builds that I do, uh, I will leave it in the description below. And yeah, let me just quickly find some string. I think there might be some inside the library area. I think it's over here. Um, surprisingly, no. Oh wait nope i i remember i used it last time i needed it um where's the other library Ooh, we got a spider i'll take you instead for now uh three string could use a little more than that ah there it is some extra string just what i needed and i'll probably need some more bamboo when i get back but that's a that's a job for when i get back but all right let us see i think like i said we're gonna need some more uh need some more bamboo here yeah definitely definitely gonna need some more uh let's see we have about nearly two stacks uh should just grow a little bit more bone meal here where else do we got some? Oh, by the way, I should probably mention, like, in case you guys were wondering why I have a crock pot right next to me, um, I'm making apple butter, and this is my first time making it, and it requires, like, 12 and a half hours of, like, cook time, so that's why it's right next to me, so I can just periodically stir it up and just make sure everything's good it's not burning and you know i'm not leaving it unattended i do hope it turns out well but we will see in about well actually a couple hours right now so hopefully it turns out well it'll probably be more so something i'll do once i like finish everything up here for this episode like all the things i said i was gonna do uh maybe besides the windmill part because it is starting to get a little too close to like pushing it to a time when i normally get off so probably won't do the windmill this episode but i'll probably do it next episode Alrighty, i should have pretty much all the materials i need um however i think i'm gonna make this build like a little further away from my little home area here and i kind of want to start doing that for the rest of my builds because don't get me wrong they're very useful but i want to start making just this little home area i have a lot nicer i want it to look like a uh look like a proper village not like oh here's my house by the way here's my little like iron golem farm as well as like a sheep farm and down there you see my little ship and lighthouse yeah we're gonna have like a giant xp farm there i just i want to start doing away with that just start making it more so this area is for this stuff this area is for building so i think overall for this build i'm gonna be making it more so like across the water here towards like towards i guess the end stronghold area like the other portal there but we're gonna be more so making it to like that little like big island i originally saw where i wanted it to be like a new base location i think i'm gonna make it more so a building location where i can make all these builds and i think right here would be a great start to it personally what is this sand okay it was so bright i couldn't tell i thought it was snow for a second all right we need to go to 199 i'm not gonna do a building montage for this one i think we took like way too long with the uh, mansion build so we're gonna kind of dial it back just a little bit for this one all right we're at 199 let's get started on a little four by five platform so one two and then one 
two, three, four. And this should allow us to get our little four by five. Okay, so this is the little bit of a star right here. This is where the creepers will fall into. We kill them. All the stuff goes through the uh, little hoppers here. And a little hole right here for the XP. And we collect all the gunpowder and have enough to make a lot of fireworks. All right, we got our little tower wall here set up. Uh, all the creepers will fall down into this hole and just pretty much face the wrath of my sword i'm not too certain how the rest of it is built i need to like continue ahead but for now this is what we got okay so i may have messed up jumping all the way down here i need to make it to a bed area as soon as possible i think home is this direction and i just i should probably bring my bed next time ah, i love our little mansion here i mean it's more so a cabin but still i love it it looks so beautiful now i do know i say that a lot with like other builds but man it just looks so good so so good you know i just realized i really hope that we don't need any cats because i did not prepare whatsoever for that Okay, so I did light this area up up here. Uh, I just wanted to make sure, you know, no mobs spawned in. Um, I will need to get some more blocks here. I did run out for this little, like, top roof area here. And I want to, like, skip ahead in the video, make sure I'm not going to miss any more. I'm thinking three stacks should be enough. But, like I said, I will need to see, like, how many more I will need in the future. Jesus Christ, leave me alone. I'm trying to get some deep slate. I can't really exactly use my, uh, use my little bubble elevator anymore. Ooh, we're gonna be in a deep world trouble right here. Okay, uh, thought this was gonna be an easy, like, grab and go, but it looks like it's not gonna be that easy. Okay, we found a monster spawner as well. That's not, <laughs> that's not what we need, wanna do. Oh god, we're, we're kinda panicking, we're panicking. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, whew, okay. Um, thankfully, I did bring some carrots. We're good. We are good. We are just gonna go this direction. I'm going to hold the carrots in my inventory. We're going to walk forward. We're going to place torches. And we're going to get as many deep slate as we need. All right. We got three stacks of deep slate. Uh, please let me through. I don't I don't want to be down here anymore. I want to be out of this cave. I want to be I want to be back home. I don't remember which direction. Ooh, we got some diamonds. I want that stuff. OK, uh, we got some more over here and I Gotta not get killed by those things, but I just want to go back home. Okay, so it looks like there's a way up here. I'm gonna take a look real quick. Ooh, don't wanna don't wanna fly into a wall. Don't wanna have kinetic energy. But it looks like there's a way up here. Okay, we are making some progress, I think. Um, we got fish all around. Uh does not appear to be an exit out of heat. Wait, wait. Haha, <laughs> freedom, freedom. All right, finally, we got this roof starting to be patched in. Just got this little like two-way section right here and we should be good to go. Oh, you know what? I probably should have lit up the downstairs area with some torches because there's going to be, there's going to be creepers down there. I did not think that through. You know what? Let's just see how bad it could be. Maybe I fall. <laughs> All right, take two. Let's see how bad. <gasps> oh, that is bad. Oh, that is bad. That's really bad. Run, 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 run. Oh, that blew that part up. Uh, I was really hoping it did not blow anything up. Uh, we're going to just kind of run around here then and just play this a bit smart, I guess. Keyword is a bit. Uh, I'm going to have to replace all of that. I hope we have enough because I don't want to make like multiple trips in this. Okay, go, 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 go. Nope, that's the second explosion. Man, I hate that. Nope, that's the third. Oh, we are so, so going to need some more uh, trap doors here. On the plus side, I did get some blocks. On the plus side, I did get some blocks. I also just realized this is not built correctly, and I kind of had to like redo a little bit of this section right here. So I'm going to need to fix that real quick. Okay, thankfully, we actually don't have to like go out and get the resources that we are like missing. Um, only thing we do need to get is some water, and that should be it. And everything else, you know, besides like, you know, fixing up this little hole right here should be done and over with all right we should have more than enough water i gotta make sure i do this correctly because that was a bit messed up so let me make sure this side is correct i'm actually gonna like also do this with the trap doors so i don't have to like think about it let's see okay 
this side should be perfect then. So now let's start removing the torches and hope that creepers do not spawn in and like try to attack me so far. But there we go. That should be it. Let me kind of just get rid of this little block right here. Place some more. And let's go down then. I guess see if it works. Oh crap. I'm going to need to get some uh get some stairs up here. You know what? We're just going to use cobble uh cobblestone slabs. Don't really need to go too fancy here personally. <laughs> there we go. We got the first creeper. Uh let me get some Ooh, got a second one. Let me get some kills right here. Um but I probably should get some cats here soon. Uh but I'll worry about that later. I'm going to do a raid and then probably see what we'll do next ah there's our chest piece where is our bow i think it should be over here uh no surprisingly ah there it is but let me grab this as well equip and i think that will get us started on the right path here so let's go oh wait we are uh need the bad omen oh you know what i think i left the bad omen at the village let me let me go check real quick okay so yeah i did leave it here uh i gotta wait for the bad omen to officially take start and we kill some raiders and get their loot ah uh, let's take care of these raiders Ooh, stay away from that guy please please do not hurt him uh gotta gotta plug him up i guess because he will die if i leave him be there you go he is safe and sound uh we just gotta take care of this guy and then first wave is over you know i really need to find a better way to do these raids like maybe have like a raid island or something like something to make it a lot easier to uh to kill these guys because it is annoying going back and forth through the uh through the mountain areas here you know i think next time i do this i should bring a strength pot or have like a uh have like a beacon of strength too because that will make things a lot easier here you know i have to say i really like the fact that like witches are part of this fight because like i don't know in a way it feels like they shouldn't be but also, at the same time, they are perfect for the fight. Although, that does question, what are pillagers then? Because witches are just, uh, just villagers transformed when struck by lightning. So, are, like, pillagers just undead versions? Probably not. But, like... What type of villager are they? You know, I think it would be really cool if they did like a Norse mythology style type of thing where you can find them inside like Norse villages because I know we have like the Willa Mansion, we have the Pillager Outpost, but it would be so cool to see them in a Norse mythology, uh, Norse mythology village. Kind of just that whole like they're pillagers, they pillage Norse mythology, like the Norse would like go around and pillage different like surrounding lands it would also be cool to see like the pirate ships or like some type of ships used for their type of uh mode of transport and you can like find some of them on the ships like that would be so cool all right witches you need to uh you need to get out of here you are being a nuance right here a nuisance not a nuance you know i think my least favorite type of like pillager has to be the vexes they are so annoying they're small to head they basically pierce through your armor and just so annoying to deal with when you have like 20 of them all at once Ooh, we got a little trident boy hang on let me kind of take care of this let me eat some carrots real quick and then try not to get hit okay one more time and then swing there we go ow Okay, that's no, uh, that's no bueno. Oh, that's also not good. Uh, let me, let me breathe. Let me breathe. It would be really cool to get a trident right now. Hang on. Please, 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 please. I don't think we got anything. Yeah, no. Okay, uh, next time. Next time. All right, sneak attack, sneak attack. Yeah, oh, you fell into water. I was hoping he would have fallen, but... Oh, God, it's the Vexus. No, get out here, get out here. No, 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 no. Out, out, out. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We are not doing this. Nope, I guess we're doing this. Okay, we're good. We are good. I made sure uh, to kill them all. I will admit, I hate the fact that like sometimes they attack, sometimes they don't. Like, I don't understand what bug is going on. But it is a bit annoying just going after a, uh, after a pillager and just like, Oh yeah, they don't do anything. And last hit, they like swing at you and it's like, Okay, where was that energy before? Now, I will say the main thing I am looking forward to when we do go for, like, the trial chambers will have to be, like, the maze. I think that would be so cool. I've never tried it before. I have yet to try it. I haven't tried it in, like, the snapshots. I haven't tried it in, like, normal Minecraft. 
So I think overall, it is like the number one thing I want to try as far as like pretty much anything Minecraft goes. Where are these uh, pillagers at? Are they, are they up here? I think they might be. Are up here or down there? Let's see, down here? Nope. So they must be up here because I did hear the horn somewhere that direction. Okay, so I guess I was wrong. They spawned down there. Um, thought they spawned up here. Never mind. Let me go back down and uh, take care of them real quick. On a plus side, we do got some pork chops. So that will heal us up a bit better. Oh, no. Nope, nope. We're arrowing him. We're arrowing him. I'm gonna try to kill him before he summons them. Yes, perfect. Okay, I think there might be one more in there. Or one or two more. Yeah, I see one more, I think. Not too certain, not too certain. I'm just gonna start shooting. I should really get power five on this bow because that will also make things a lot easier. Okay, so it seems to be just the uh, ranger guys and the axe guys. I forgot their names. I hate that I forgot their names, but something along the ranger and the uh, axe man. I think it might be like indicators. No, that doesn't sound right. Vindicators maybe. Okay, now they're this direction. I heard them this direction. But again, I will sleep, so that way it's daytime. No creepers, skeletons, none of that. Ooh, we got some people here. No, 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 no. Please tell me they're not all dead. No, there's someone in there. Stop it. Okay, never mind. There's no one in here. There is no one in here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Iron Golem. Oh, thank you so very much. Yes, get him. Get him. Take care of the Vexes. I'll take care of the other guys. Oh, I heard a villager die. I heard a villager die. You. You. Oh, we gotta eat. Yep. This is where we eat. And this is where we run. Can't exactly do much if I'm dead. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Oops. That's, uh, that's not good. That is not the best idea. Not the best worry. Or not worry. Best, uh, best thing to say. This might be where I use another totem. Not gonna lie. I would not be surprised with the way things look. Oh, please tell me I got some villagers still alive. Oh no. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay, that actually that actually scared me. It looks like more so the lesser villagers died. Not so much the important ones. I could be mistaken. It does look like they changed professions a little bit, but not too certain. I'm gonna Ooh, I wish I had my iron. I would have healed this guy. I think it would be probably a smart idea to get rid of the water here. Cause that is what's leading all these uh all these pillagers to attack for the most part at least for the most part uh we got poisoned uh i thought it was gonna be the short poison but nope we are poisoned for another 20 more seconds that's uh perfect just perfect okay we're down to the last few people here let me not die to this ravager Ooh, that is a huge chunk of my health right there wow what am i being attacked by oh it's a trident boy oh oh that's Mm, let me swim away, swim away, swim away, swim away, swim away. Oh my goodness. Yep, jump. Jesus Christ. I was wondering where I was getting attacked from. Crap, I need to take care of him, but he uh, he has a friend. Another water friend, Aquaman. God, I would love to take care of this Ravager, but I got Aquaman over here. Jesus, stop hitting me, please. Okay, gonna do a little bit of healing, and then we're going after that guy. He wants to mess with me. I'm gonna mess with him. All right. Here I go in three, two, one. Please don't let me die. Come on, come on, come on. Just gotta get two more swings. One more swing, one more swing. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's done and over with. That is done and over with. And I think I have like two more waves left over for the uh, raid. I probably should have done like a smaller one, but you live and learn. Live and learn. I think they might have spawned back on the mountain up here. Because I'm not seeing them over here. Oh, nope. They are all over here. Wow. That's, uh... That's a bit intriguing. Intrigued to see how this will all go. Not gonna lie. Probably poorly, to be honest. Especially with the Vexes. I'm gonna try to go mainly after the guy that summons the Vexes. Because if I can take care of them first, that would be beautiful. Does not seem like it. I'm gonna die. Gonna use another totem. Okay, I'm gonna, like... Do a mixture of attacking the uh, Vindicator and the Vexes here, I guess. Wow, did not expect the Vexes to show up again. Got, mm. of course, I had to use Nerd Totem. Oh, and you run away. And you run away. 
<laughs> you know, I really just need to get like a lot of golden carrots because that will solve a lot of my issues here. All right, we do have a couple guys down here. Gonna take care of them real quick. I really don't care about the Vexes at the moment. I just want this to be done over with down here. I'm gonna have to use another totem anyway. Yep. Thankfully, I can play this a lot better. Um, I think this is where that whole like raid farm, not exactly a farm, but like a raid base, sky base, something like that, will come into handy to make this a lot easier when it comes to like attacking these guys. All right, let me make sure none of these guys like fell down below. I should probably turn on like death mode just to make sure I can like hear them okay does not seem like they fill any further down here it seems like this is pretty much like all it is ah there they are come here guys let me let me kind of show you guys a little bit of this edge here no you don't want to see the edge of the cliff come on you would love it look take a deeper look isn't it beautiful oh we got some friends over here as well you want to take a look as well there you go all right, we got one more guy. I have no clue where this one could be. Ah, there you are. Let me let me show you my sword, buddy. Ah, there you go. Is it done? It's done. Freedom. We don't have to do this anymore. Shame that we wasted, what, two totems, I think? Two or three. But you know what? I think I think overall that was worth it. Let me make sure. Let me see who's alive, who's dead. We got our mending guy. Are you a new guy? No, you're an old guy. Are you a new guy? Old guy. Okay, so we did lose like majority of our uh, of our villagers, but I think overall it was worth it. We got some more totems. I mean, look at that, beautiful. But all right, I think that'll pretty much end it off for this video. I think like the last little bit of stuff I'll do will be off camera for like the house, just make it look a little bit nicer, have some like type of different decorations inside at the uh, room, whatever's gonna be over here kitchen living room that sort of stuff but yeah if you guys still like the video please like comment subscribe and be on the lookout for rl craft i should be uploading it after this video but we'll see and yeah without the way this has been look to 20 setting off bye bye